Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into a topic that's literally all around us, ecology. Now before you think this is just another boring science lesson, stick around. We are going to make this fun and super easy to understand. Ready? Let's jump in. So what exactly is ecology? In simple terms, it's the study of how living things interact with each other and their environment. Think of it like a giant social network. Ecology is all about figuring out who's friends with whom, who's trading resources and who's blocking others for survival reasons. It's like a real life version of social media but way more fascinating. So let's explore this amazing interconnected world of ecology together. Ecology can be studied at different levels. First up, we have individual organisms. Think of a single tree in this park. That tree has its own little world, right? It needs sunlight, water and nutrients from the soil to survive. Next we have populations. This is a group of the same species living in an area. So in the case of trees, all the oak trees in this park would be considered a population. It's that simple. Now let's talk about communities. This is where things get interesting. A community is made up of different species living together in one area. So in this park, now we have trees, birds, squirrels and probably a few insects all hanging out. But wait, there's more. The next level is ecosystems. An ecosystem includes all the living things in a community plus the non-living things they interact with like the air, water and soil. It's like the ultimate group project where everyone and everything plays a role. And finally, we have the biosphere which is basically all the ecosystems on earth combined. It's the largest scale of ecology and includes every living organism on our planet. Okay, so why should we care about ecology? Well, understanding how different parts of our environment interact helps us make better decisions about how we live. It can teach us how to protect endangered species, manage natural resources and even combat climate change. Just think about it. Everything is connected. The bees pollinate the flowers, which provide food for other animals. The trees produce oxygen that we need to breathe. When one part of an ecosystem is disrupted, it can affect everything else. Kind of like when one person spoils the ending of your favorite TV show, everything is ruined. So next time you're out in nature, take a moment to appreciate the complex, interconnected web of life around you. That's ecology in action. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more fun and informative content. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover next. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.